When you look at the way in which that's articulated, it's articulated as a, a learning cycle, uh, a learning cycle in which you're trying to build both knowledge of customer value and knowledge of the means of production for customer value simultaneously. So in here, there, there is embedded within this, there is um, the, the approach to building of knowledge um, that, that Dr. Deming um, refute, referred to as the Schuhart cycle. It, it became known as the Deming cycle in a, in a lot of other circles. Um, but its application at the level of, a, of enterprise um, I think was, uh, was really quite new at this point in time. So in there, so let's look, kind of look at the theory of knowledge dimension of that, the, the, the aspect of, uh, of building knowledge for improvement. Um, Dr. Deming's view of knowledge was rooted in uh, what's known as the uh, pragmatist school of philosophy. Um, he was, uh, in particular, he recommended a, a book called Mind and the World Order by C.I. Lewis, um, which uh, I think if you, if you evaluate books as a ratio of uh, conceptual density per dollar, um, it's probably one of the most valuable books that you can purchase. Um, I think I got a copy for six dollars um, from Dover Press, um, and uh, um, it's a uh, it's a challenging read. It's an interesting read if you uh, if you want to uh, want to further your knowledge in this area. So, what did Dr. Deming have to say about knowledge? Um, he stated that the theory of knowledge teaches us that a statement, if it conveys knowledge, predicts future outcomes with risk of being wrong and fits without failure observations of the past. Rational prediction requires theory and builds knowledge through systematic revision and extension of theory based upon comparison of prediction with observation. So, um, story that Dr. Deming used to illustrate this um, was the story of Chanticleer the rooster. Um, I was just blown away with his graphics. This is just, um, so this story is taken, uh, this is a story that Dr. Deming uh, told in his four-day seminars and uh, it is in the New, New Economics uh, too. if you want to read the full, full gory detail of the story. Um, this is the way he told the story. The barnyard rooster Chanticleer had a theory. He crowed every morning, putting forth all his energy, flapping his wings. The sun came up. The connection was clear. His crowing caused the sun to come up. There was no question about his importance. There came a snag. He forgot one morning to crow. The sun came up anyhow. Crestfallen, he saw his theory in need of revision. Without his theory, he would have had nothing to revise, nothing to learn. So, it's a silly children's story, right? except that learning occurs here because of that articulation of theory, because of implicitly Chanticleer was making a prediction that were he not to crow, the sun would not come up. That was tested against experience, and therefore he was forced to revise his theory. This was formalized by Dr. Deming in the Plan, Do, Study, Act cycle. Um, and uh, this is really, again, on the face of it looks very simple, but when you really dig into it, um, is really quite profound. Um, in this cycle is a synthesis of two things. There's a synthesis of taking action aimed at improvement and learning. There are cycles that look similar, but they're not the same. 
and it's easy to kind of confuse the, confuse the two. So for instance, there is the PDCA cycle, which Deming uh, is referred to by many as the Deming cycle, um, which upset Dr. Deming. He didn't want, didn't want it to be called the Deming cycle. Um, the PDCA cycle, um, as it's commonly described, is really an improvement cycle um, and not a learning cycle. If learning happens, it happens by accident in the PDCA cycle. So it's, it's a cycle that's like a um, closed loop feedback control type of a cycle. It's like getting into the shower in the morning and turning the knob and the temperature's not where you want it to be and making an adjustment on the knob in the direction of, of the change of temperature that you want and iteratively making that, that change in cycles until you get the temperature that you want. Uh, learning about the, the plumbing system could happen by accident in the process of doing that, but it's not a deliberate, deliberately designed part of the process. There's also the scientific method, um, which is a learning cycle. It's a cycle by which you're testing hypotheses but it's not an improvement cycle. It's not a cycle aimed at making changes that are intended to cause improvement. The PDSA cycle, I think, as Dr. Deming conceived it, was a synthesis of these two things. And so the, the really critical piece of this, then, is like we had in Chanticleer, in the story of Chanticleer, is prediction. Um, prediction and the implicit theory that uh, upon which the prediction is based. So you are making change um, that is aimed at improvement, but you're doing that at the same time as, as making predictions about outcomes, articulating the theory, um, and then when, when outcomes are not, not as predicted, not as, not, not as wanted, but not as predicted, um, then we have cause to change the theory, cause to learn. And that, of course, can result in change that is more impactful from, from an improvement perspective. Um, so the synthesis of these two things, I think, is, is, is something that's not immediately apparent, but really quite a, quite a profound thing. 